Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing some GeoGuster, but I'm going to try to minimize the amount of meta that I use. The way we're doing this is using the amazing No Car, No Compass script, which blocks out any of the Google Car meta at the bottom of the screen, as well as gets rid of the compass. It's a really fun way to play, and I've been meaning to show it here on the channel for a while, so let's hop into some games. We're just going to do some streak attempts, and hope it goes well. So you can see that this gray blob is what blocks out any of the car meta we might have, and where the compass should be in the bottom left, it's not there. So first round here is pretty easy. We got these yellow dashed lines for Ireland, so I'm going to try to go pretty quickly through these all and see if we can get a good streak going on this mode. Let's see if we can make it happen. Alright, this second round seems pretty South African. I think we're just going to be there. Uh, Gauteng, yeah, that's the state that you get up here, I think. I think this is the state. I, I forget. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, good stuff. South Africa's done. Let's keep on going. Here we go. So I don't think this no car thing is really going to change up how I play. I usually don't rely just on the meta, so it shouldn't be too bad, but we'll just have to see. This round reminds me a lot of Brazil. We've got the reddish-orange roofs. Uh, yes, yeah, poles seem good as well. You get these sort of smooth concrete ones there sometimes. Wide white license plates as well. So I'm just going to go for down here. Yeah, not bad. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's keep on going. Round four, this one's just Sweden. We've got a Swedish road sign, dashed lines, bollards, all the good stuff there. And our fifth round here, our last round brings us some Gen 2 coverage, and that's the one thing this script can't get rid of, is camera generation meta. So, unfortunately, Gen 2, 3, 4, and 1, everything like that is still going to be usable here. But thankfully, again, camera generation almost never is the exclusive clue. But this one, we got Australian bollards and road signs and poles. I think these are the Tasmania green poles with the uh, possum guards on him, so he should be there. And yeah, it is. Nice. Okay, good five to start out. Let's keep on going. And by the way, I'm using the Miracle Whips Country Street Canner today. It's a pretty cool feature. It shows the actual country name in green at the bottom, so I like it a lot. This one should just be Russia. We got all white road lines, Russian poles, Russian architecture. Feels pretty deep, honestly. This could be way far east. I'm gonna go out here. Yeah, it is all the way there. I should have risked it. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to round seven. This looks pretty American, I would say. Uh, probably... I was gonna say Northeast. Yeah, it's Rhode Island. Okay. <laughs> uh, North Kingstown. That's... Where is that? Here it is. Very nice. We could have tried to 5k that, but we don't have time. Let's keep on going. We are streaking here. Round 8 looks like Russia. Again, these kinds of signs you get there a lot, especially with the black painted bottoms. So this time, I don't know, it kind of just feels like out here. Oh, even farther west. Wow. Okay. Round 9. This is a deserty place. There's some sort of stick. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> that's interesting. Um, this kind of just makes me think of Chile, honestly. Northern Chile. See, here's the kind of round where car meta would be helpful. If you can see if it's a white or black car, that's really helpful in this kind of round, but we don't have that here, so we gotta entirely use landscape, which really does feel like North Chile. The signposts would be a little bit different if we were in Peru or Bolivia, so we should just be in Chile. And yeah, it is a little farther south. That's good, though. And let's go to round number 10. Here we go. Looks like we're back in the States. And here we have a North Carolina exclusive stop sign thing. This little white number thing on the stop sign you get in North Carolina. Also, North Carolina sometimes puts their highway numbers on street signs, just like this one is right there. So there we go. Okay, good stuff. We are 10 in so far, doing pretty well. Let's just keep this up. Depending on how far we get here, we'll do at least a few streak attempts in this video. So here we should be in Italy. We got a double blue strip Italian plate. Architecture looks very Italian as well, so should just be somewhere in the middle here. And okay, not too bad. Round 12, here we go. All right, this seems like the US, maybe Canada. Let me look at these plates. Yeah, no, that's actually, I think, a Manitoba plate with the two greens. Could be the Saskatchewan plate. I'm not too good with my Canadian plates, but I, I think this is Manitoba. It is. Very nice. Okay. Keeping on moving here. Round 13. Here we got, yeah, more Gen 2 coverage and yellow plates back and front. So we should be in the Netherlands. Actually, this... I don't know. The architecture is actually a bit weird. This might be Luxembourg instead. Yeah, it's a little too hilly to be the Netherlands, I think. Yeah, and the architecture as well. We should be in Luxembourg. Yeah, that, that seems good to me. Let's go for it. And yeah, it is. I'm glad I caught myself there. Let's keep on going. This one's South Korea. Got South Korean poles, single yellow line, winter coverage, road signs, all the clues for South Korea here. And number 15 here. This one's going to be Blurmany. We got the blurs. This is a great example of it. Just ridiculous amount of blurring. Also, the Gen 2 coverage, it's kind of faded, too, with this, like, white-looking coloration. So, that's very German. And there we go. Okay, 15 down. Let's keep it up. Here we go with game four. 
I don't know how far we'll get. I'm, I'm doing pretty well so far. Hopefully we can keep this alive. This one's hard, though. This one's hard. Got a lot of these palm trees. It's kind of hilly. Sort of reddish-brown soil. Architecture seems... Southeast Asian to me? Here is where car meta again would be helpful. I think it's mostly the rural rounds where I use it more as a crutch. Uh, so this one's harder for sure. I kind of think the Philippines just with the trees. Architecture as well. I really could see this being Indonesia as well. It's tough to say. Yeah, I don't know. This one's hard. I'm gonna go for the Philippines. I won't be at all surprised if it's Indo, even somewhere else Southeast Asian. But let's go for it. Come on, Philly. Oh, it is. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, got that one done. Round 17. Let's see. We got a blue road sign. Definitely in Europe somewhere. Got this architecture. I'm trying to think what that road sign is. Is that a Czech road sign? I feel like it could be. The architecture feels a bit Czech, I would say. I don't know. What's on this truck? It does look like a .cz on the trucks. So we could be in the Czech Republic. It's kind of cool, this location. It's really mountainous. We're in like a valley surrounded here. But yeah, I think this might be the Czech Republic. I wonder what city this is. It seems decent sized. Is it mountainous enough around Brno to be there? Oh, I don't know, actually. I'm not sure. I'm going to go for the Czech Republic. I think we're going to be here. I'm trusting the .cz especially. So let's see if this is right. Okay, it is. Oh, we're way up here. That does make more sense with the mountains. Okay. Not bad, though. At least it's the right country. Let's keep on going. This time, we should be in Russia again. We got Bollard Spam at the intersections. Again, the same sort of Russian signpost up there. And again, it's pretty far east. I should have risked it. It's fine. Round 19 looks kind of tough. Kind of a remote road here in the fields. Uh, immediately, my thought was like Romania, especially with the architecture and just the slightly rolling hills, very open fields and plains. And yeah, you do sometimes get the concrete smooth pulls there too. So I think Romania is good. I'm gonna go for it. I, I'm like 80% sure on this one. Let's see. Oh no, it's Bulgaria. Oh, that explains the poles even more. Really Romanian looking Bulgaria, I've got to say, but I guess that does make sense. Okay, that's my bad. Okay, not the greatest streak to start out, but we can definitely do better. Let's get into attempt two. This time we got Norwegian long dashed lines somewhere in the mountains here. Cool location. Not bad, actually. Good plonk to start. That bodes well. Let's keep it up. Okay, this time we're out on the beach. Really cool. Gensu coverage, uh, poles and everything. I think we're just in Mexico here. Yeah, yeah, it should just be Mexico. Yeah, with this, yeah, definitely Mexico. Somewhere, where would this be? We don't have the compass, so I don't know which coast we'll be on here, but I'm going to click out on the Yucatan Peninsula. And, ooh, okay, terrible. <laughs> Way up there, basically in Texas. That's tough, but at least it's Mexico. Round three, here we got a yellow back plate and white front plates, so we should be in the UK. Also, the hedgerows architecture as well. Could maybe be something like... Jersey here. It feels really far south to me. I actually might go for Jersey. This is a risky guess, but I'm gonna try it. It's not at all. Okay, I'm just crazy. <laughs> Let's go to round four. It doesn't even matter. Okay, sort of a dirt road here. Fence is reminiscent of the Indonesian flag. We, I don't think we're there. No, the plates aren't right. This is probably more Cambodia with this soil and architecture. Houses on stilts like that, you get there a lot, so we should, should be here. Very nice, okay. And our fifth round here, let's see what we got. So we do have some more meta that this script can't get rid of, which is follow cars. This is the Kenyan follow car. So unfortunately, that is a big clue for Kenya. I was thinking that initially, just with the architecture as well. This is very classic Kenyan architecture, so should be in there somewhere. So we were down by Mombasa there, not bad. That's five done, let's keep it up. We can definitely do better than that first streak. We gotta try, so. Our next round here, uh, that looks like Turkish language, so yeah, we should be there. Road lines are good as well. Yeah, this is probably, I mean, you've got this, like, bay thing here. I would guess we're close to the Mediterranean, like this sort of area. Yeah, not bad. We'll take that. We'll take that. Let's keep on going. Round seven. Okay. Got some Spanish on that sign. This sort of landscape reminds me of, oh, actually, what is this? Oh, this one's tough, actually. It kind of feels like dry Columbia, maybe? I don't know if that makes sense, though. That's my best idea here. I'm actually not too sure on this one. Tough round, but I'm gonna give it a try. And it is. Glad I got that one done. Let's keep on moving. Round eight. Okay, this one is very interesting. I uh, got more Spanish. Is this Peru? Kind of feels like northern Peru to me. 
Got these really tall dry mountains and then these flat, sort of dusty agricultural areas. Definitely reminds me of stuff you get up here. I feel good about Peru. Let's, let's give it a try. Again, not too sure, but we'll see. Okay, it is nice and up there too. Okay, doing well, doing well. Round nine. This time it's Gen 4 and we have Mexican octagonal shaped poles as well. Very Mexican architecture, multicolored buildings like this as well. So we're probably farther south. Yeah, not bad. Okay, we're actually doing really well with the region guessing this time. Our final round here is going to put us in Sweden. We've got Swedish road signs and dashes. We do have a road number. I, I could look for it, but again, I'm, I'm not bothered to do that today. So, there we go. That's 10 done. Let's keep on moving. Okay, game three. Here we go. Uh, Alright, this looks like Romania again. Hopefully it's actually there. It's that same kind of landscape. The slightly rolling hills and the fields of grass... Yeah, I think it's Romania. If this is Bulgaria, I'll be really disappointed. Let me take another close look. If we can see any poles... Yeah, it does look like that pole's painted white at the bottom, which Romania does almost everywhere, so should be here. Should be here. Let's go for it. Okay, good. It is actually Romania this time. We survived Romania, round 12. Here we got some Cyrillic exposed piping and everything, which is really common in Russia. However, no, we got a Kyrgyzstan license plate. Ah, oh, okay. See, Kyrgyzstan's one of those countries where it's usually the meta, you just instantly recognize it. But we don't have that here, but the license plates, thankfully, are distinct with the red strip. So we should be in Kyrgyzstan here. That's a good example of another round where the lack of car meta can be kind of tough, but let's keep them going. Round 13. Here we're driving on the left. Okay, seems like a Malaysian sign. They got those blue signs there, double white lines as well. Driving left, we should be on Peninsula Malaysia. And there it is. Round 14. Uh, very flat, looks like Argentina right off the bat. And we do have the Argentinian poles. Very nice, way up there in Paraguay. Makes me want Paraguay coverage. One of the last parts of South America to not get it. I really hope they go back there. I mean, they've been driving in Peru with Gen 4 cars, so maybe they'll take this chance to head down there too. Cover Bolivia Gen 4 too, that would be nice. Uh, this one's gonna be in Finland. We've got Finnish road lines here, also a Finnish street sign too. And that's our first 15 done. Let's keep on going, game four. This is where we lost our streak last time, so we gotta try to get past this one. Okay, pole here looks Thai. We are driving on the left. These kinds of pickup trucks are pretty common there too, so we should just be somewhere in the middle. Nice, not bad. Okay, round 17. Immediately my thought here is Uruguay, really flat, kind of cloudy coverage, a lot of cows in the fields. These kinds of white signposts and things you get there all the time too, so should be Uruguay. There we go. Next one, ah, uh, we got a black screen, okay. Black screens have been happening a lot in recent times. Google recently changed up the way that their locations work with their location IDs. So we had to load in a new location here. Uh, but this one looks like the US, I would say. We do have this private road thing, which as far as I know is very specific to the Carolinas. So I think we should be in like Charlotte here. That would be my guess. This is gonna be a test of the yellow private road thing meta. Ooh, okay. Maybe not the exact same thing as you get in North Carolina, but that's definitely a thing out there. But not bad, at least. It's still the U.S. Round 19. This one looks like Greece, first thought. We got the double white lines. Very Mediterranean Greek architecture as well. And do we have the language? We do have Greek language. Perfect. Okay. So we are there for sure. And round 20. Here we go. This one looks like Indonesia immediately. We do have the flag as well. So there we go. Alright, that's 20 done. We're doing better this time. We made it past our streak from before, so let's keep on moving. Looks like the US here once again. Uh, license plate, I can't really see, but this feels just like kind of Tennessee, Kentucky again, so... Oh wow, Virginia. Okay, that's fair too. That's fair too. Yeah, <laughs> US is tough. No moving, man. Uh, this one looks like Spanish guardrails with the yellow reflector, also the chevrons, white road lines, general landscape as well. There we go, next one. Looks like Australia, Australian bollards. Just gonna fly through these rounds and try to get up to a good streak. Let's aim for like 50 this time. Here we're gonna be in Canada. It looks like British Columbia with plates and mountains. Oh no, Thunder Bay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> More evidence that I don't know my Canadian plates or landscapes. Uh, so that's great. Next round, number 25. Looks like Spain again. Uh, actually it could be Portugal. Let's look for some of the clues. Yeah, no, we do have the Portuguese hunting signs. These red and white things. There we go. Okay, that's 25. Doing well, doing well. Let's keep on moving. 
Round 26, we're in Norway, long yellow lines, Norwegian road signs. Honestly, there have only been a couple rounds so far that I've really needed the meta for. Most of these I just don't really need the meta for. There we had Taiwanese poles. Next one, Ooh, okay, this one could be hard, but it kind of just feels like Finland first glance. Cool location on this dam. Uh, but yeah, this kind of thing is tough sometimes. This could be Sweden as well. That's what I'm worried about. But no, actually, I just noticed the road lines. We do have white, solid outside lines, which is a very Finnish thing. Should be there. I'm going to trust it. Hopefully it's not Sweden, because it really could be. Okay, good. Okay. The road lines came in clutch there. Next one, number 29. Okay, this one's a little bit harder as well. Kind of reminds me of Italy, in a way. This very flat landscape maybe the Po Valley in the north Ooh, I'm not sure though this this doesn't necessarily have to be there the plate does seem kind of short which you get in Italy architecture seems okay as well so I'm I'm okay with Italy here tough round in general it would be nice to see the car here of course uh, but I'm gonna go for Italy hopefully I'm right I don't know okay it is not all that way north which which makes sense that's fair it's not bad that's fine that's fine let's go to round 30 here we go Okay, another kind of tricky one. We do have poles to save us. Um, oh. This is going to put us in France? I think it is. I think these are French poles. It definitely feels like a French landscape. Architecture seems to fit too. Yeah, yeah, I think it's France. I hope I'm not really stupid here. Oh boy, we'll see. Oh, is it? Oh, that's so close to Belgium. Wow. I was kind of worried it might just be Belgium. For me personally, Belgium and France poles can be kind of tricky sometimes, but I'm glad that that was right this time. Well, let's keep on moving. We are at a streak of 30, doing really well here. Hopefully we can keep on going here. This one I'm immediately thinking of Ukraine with the poles and architecture. Could easily be Russia, though, so we got to be careful. Yeah, this kind of round's tough. And another one where car meta would be helpful if we could see the red car for Ukraine would be really huge. But honestly, just going off vibes, I'm pretty sure it's Ukraine. I am not going to be surprised if it's Russia, but I think it's Ukraine. Good, okay. Let's keep on going. 32. Here we got these bollards. Uh, we should be in Thailand, I think, with those. And the road as well, the yellow lines. Because Indonesia has similar bollards sometimes, but they're not going to have yellow road lines. And it doesn't look like Indo, so it should just be Thai. Very good. Okay, next one. Here we're back in Europe. Looks like Portugal first glance with the poles and architecture. Yeah, should be Portugal. Should be Portugal. Let's see if we have any of those hunting signs. You usually see those almost everywhere. Maybe not here because it's a bit more populated, but I think this is just Portugal. Just with the poles too. Come on. Good. Okay. Okay. Next one is just Australia somewhere. Ask Zigzag where this one is. I don't know. <laughs> we got the state though. That's nice. And another one where I, I don't know where we are. Let's see if my plonk is good. Not, not as good as the last one. That's fine. 35 streak. Well, let's keep it up. We are doing great here. Okay, this one is just the US. Wow, actually really mountainous. Damn. Is this like Montana or Idaho then? Maybe. Let's let's go for that. It is... Is that Montana? No, that's Idaho. Okay, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Round 37 here. Let's see. It looks like Sri Lankan poles. These here. Do we have any language to confirm that? Uh, that's just English. A lot of different flags there. Okay, this is not helpful. <laughs> but there's another Sri Lankan pole. I think we're just going to be there. I'm trusting the poles. Very nice. Okay. Next one. Ooh, looks like Austria, Slovenia. Maybe more Slovenia? Well, let's look for clues to help. I think these bus stop signs are more Austrian, though. The the H. I, I'm pretty sure you don't get those in Slovenia. And yeah, the road, too, actually does feel more Austrian, so I feel good about this now. Very nice. And round 39, we got more Greek here, so don't need to say much. Just Greece. And round 40. Okay, double white central lines driving on the left. Interesting bollards. I think these are just a... A variant of the Malaysia bollards. Definitely feels Malaysia with the roads and the, the palm oil trees. So, should be out here. I think. It is. And, again, I've lost the toss-up. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine though. It's still Malaysia. That's a 40 streak. Doing good. Let's keep it up. Let's try to get to 50 and then uh, see where we're at there. This one looks like Brazil. It's kind of dry. I would go more north. Nice. Not bad. Okay, next one. Mediterranean Europe looks like an Italian stop sign, but the plate's not actually Italian, so maybe it's not. 
Although these are. These are Italian. Okay, maybe it's just a plate bait. They're from uh, Croatia or something. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this just really feels like Italy to me. And the stop sign as well. That's the Italian font, I'm pretty sure. So it should be here. Good, okay. Number 43. This time we got yellow outside lines. Yellow plates too. Oh, okay. I think we're in Israel here. Israel's a country where car meta. Actually, I use it a lot. You get the long antenna with a black car. I do usually use that in Israel, but most of the time, yeah, you can tell with the yellow plates and this type of stuff. So we're good here. Number 44 looks like, again, the US. We got American signs here. So, ooh, what could this be? Kind of feels Wisconsin, honestly. I think it's Wisconsin. I'm going to go for it. Let's say the suburbs of Milwaukee here. Ooh, not bad. It's it's outer Madison area. That's not bad. We'll take that, man. And round 45. Let's see. Do we have rifts? That's another thing the script can't hide is rifts, but we don't have any here. Uh, we got smooth poles. This kind of architecture. Ooh. This one could be tough. This could end my streak. I'm bad at this kind of round. Right now I'm thinking uh, Croatia. I wish we had language here. I really wish we had language. This round always gets me. I'm gonna try my best to not let it get me this time, but uh, we just, we'll just we just have to see. So Croatia, Slovenia, uh, I'm, I just don't know. Yeah, I think I might send Croatia here. I'm I'm just so bad with this kind of round. This is probably wrong. I really hope it's not, but yeah, we'll just see. Come on. Oh, it's Serbia. Damn it. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. Croatia probably was a bad guess there, but it's fine. We made it pretty far. 44 streak is not too bad. So to end the video, we're going to do a really quick NMPZ attempt here. Hopefully this goes well. Uh, we'll just have to see. Again, I'm not really sure how much the car meta will come into play here, so we'll see if NCNC has any effect. This is going to be Italy, Italian plates, architecture, all that stuff. Out here, oh, beautiful run Capri. So gorgeous. Round two, looks like Brazilian architecture, I would say. Poles seem good, the smooth concrete that you get in urban areas, so we should be here. Nice, not a bad guess. Let's keep on going. This one is Africa, we got a yellow plate. Uh, looks like geared up for driving on the right, because the car is parked on this side. So I think with that and the yellow plate, we're in Ghana. Most of Africa is really car meta dependent, especially Ghana, the famous tape. So yeah, I think it's Ghana, I think it's Ghana. Good, okay, not a bad guess either, let's go. Next one, also kind of tricky. It's going to be Africa. It's either South Africa or Botswana. I think it's a bit too mountainous for Botswana, though. I'm a little worried this could be really sneaky, strange Eswatini, but I don't think so. I think it's more just South Africa. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. It is. Okay, good. And round five, this one looks like Brazil again, out in the rural areas, and a more typical Brazil ladder pole over there. I'd put us maybe up here. Ooh, not bad. It's north, but I'm a little too far west. A thousand kilometers too far west, so not bad. Five streak to start. Let's keep it up. Not sure how far we'll get with this, but hey, we'll, we'll just have to put in the work and see. Looks like South Africa here again. Wooden poles, this kind of landscape, Gen 2 coverage. So let's just send it. And I'm <laughs> all the way across the country. Round seven looks... Ooh. Hey, this one's actually hard. I think it's... Canada? Just Canada somewhere? It might be the US. It also might be Europe. I honestly can't tell. I think it's just Canadian architecture, but I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I think I'm overthinking it. I'm just going to go Canada. It is. Wait, is it? Yeah. Okay. Just Quebec. That's fine. Round eight this time. Oh, beautiful snow coverage. Looks like Norway lines and road signs. So should be there. Good. And round number nine. It looks like Turkish signs. Uh, these snow poles. I'm pretty sure you get in Turkey a lot as well. Especially on mountain roads where you get snow. And yep, way up there in the mountains north. And round 10. Looks like Mexican octagonal poles. We got Spanish language as well. We also have Emiliano Zapata on this uh, building here, which is a famous Mexican historical figure. So there we go. Okay, 10 done. Let's keep it up. See how far we can get. Round 11 looks like Jordan. I would guess this is just on the 15. Somewhere out here. Nice, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Love to try to get the road in Jordan. This round is sort of older Gen 4. Old Gen 4 has this effect with the clouds where it looks really contrasted, really strange looking. Austria and Poland are where you get the old Gen 4 a lot. So this looks more like Austria though. Good stuff. Okay. 
Next one, ooh, Africa again. It's either bots or South Africa. Uh, I lean Botswana. I lean Botswana just with the landscape. Should be there. There's always a chance for South Africa, but I think it's just bots. Good. Okay. Okay. Next one. Here. Ooh, do we have yellow dashed lines? Seems like maybe. They're kind of faded and hard to see, but I'm pretty sure. It definitely feels like Ireland, so that fits for me. So I'm happy going there. Good. Okay. Okay. Next one. Number 15. Here we go. Tough round. Winter coverage. A little bit hilly. Gravel road. Feels like Europe, so winter coverage probably Bulgaria. Yeah, yeah, it should just be here. We actually have a really good score. Holy, I didn't even notice that. Oh my god, we could get 24k here. Nuts. I hope it's Bulgaria. Let's see. I'd hate to ruin the score. Oh man. Ah, oh, it is. Nice. Let's go, man. 20... Oh, we just missed the 24k. You're kidding me. That was a good game, though, at least. Lucky. A couple lucky plonks. Botswana, for sure, was huge, so not bad. Let's keep it up. Doing great here. Try to get to, like, 25 and see. This is Arge. We got Argentinian poles. Nice and easy there. Next one should be Russia. Bollard spam. Might be Kaliningrad. Or no, it was way west, yeah. But not Kaliningrad. That's fine. Next one seems like a Brazilian road. Red soil. Uh... Yeah, should be. It should be. Probably south. Oh no, not even that far south. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Next around here, looks like Europe. Ooh, this one's tougher. Uh, I'm bad with urban Europe a lot. This one might be where I fail, actually. It kind of reminds me of southern France. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think the dashed lines also make me think that, because France puts their road lines really close together like that, so I, I think France is good. Oh, I don't know. I'm not good with this kind of thing, so let's see. This could be the end. It is France. Holy crap. Okay, not even a bad guess either. Okay, I surprised myself there. I thought I was crazy. Okay, we got that one done. This looks like Brazil again, I think. Are these Brazil poles? Actually, yeah, it is. It's a weird angle, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Good. Okay, and that's 20. Nice. I thought we were done for with that France round. Keep it on going though, it looks like Swedish dashed lines here, very Scandinavian architecture. Way up there, almost in Finland, wow, okay. Didn't expect that. Uh, this round, Ooh, divided highway, probably just the US. This feels a little bit strange, but no, no, it should be the US. I don't really know where. Let's, let's see, I'm not sure here. Holy crap. Okay, that's just pure luck, what in the hell? I wasn't even sure if it was the US. I was actually worried it wasn't gonna be. That's ridiculous, man. Okay, what a plonk. Next around here, it looks like the UK. Got yellow back plates and looks like just white fronts. So, yeah, British for sure. Good stuff. Opposite side of the country there. Next one, we got these holy poles. Okay. A double white line as well, so I think this is just Poland. Seems Polish enough. Good, okay, and number 25, uh, yellow backplates but driving on the right, and blue road signs, we should be in the Netherlands, I'm pretty sure. Good, okay, well, we're actually doing not bad, NMPZ, this is good. Could we beat our no moving record here? I mean, we might do it. This is kind of weird looking, uh, dashed lines, is, is this Australia? I haven't seen any road lines like this there before, but, wow, strange, this is really strange. I think it's Australia. I'm actually confused here. I don't know what else it would be. Maybe South Africa, but that also feels wrong, so... Go on Australia. Oh my god, it is. It is South Africa. Wow, those road lines. I've never seen anything like that. Maybe it's not weird, and I'm just crazy, but there goes our streak. We, do, we were doing so well, right when I say maybe we can beat our no-move record, but it's fine. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with how we did here today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you want to see more of the no-car, no-compass script, let me know in the comments. Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.